Hi, it's Mike here from Clearview Mirrors and um, today we're extremely excited to uh, release the new Jeep Clearview Towing Mirror um, for Jeep Grand Cherokees, the current version. There's a number of um, uh, options with this uh, new mirror and um, I'm going to run through all those um, with you. The, uh, the standard mirrors, some just come with, with power to here that works off your, um, your electrical adjustment on here. There's some will have an indicator and others will be a whole lot more technical and they'll have what they call memory. And your memory is for your seating positions and how you'll know if you're not familiar with your new car is you got position one and position two here and all you do basically is sit in the car adjust everything to where you want it including your radio station and then once you've got it all set you've got to have the car in park you just press the set button here right and uh, that will set position one for you and then when your wife comes along she'll be able to set it up for herself and then press position two and the set button and then whenever you come along and you open your car with the key or the remote from outside, the seats will change, your steering will change, your mirror adjustments will change. Now, the memory is an optional extra with our mirrors and we've also got on the top end Jeeps, they have blind spot monitoring and they have a yellow light up here. And if that light comes on, it tells you that you've got somebody in your blind spot. And, and uh, the left-hand passenger mirror, when you come in and you're parking and you want to pull up to the kerb, your mirror will automatically dip down as well. Now, we've managed to get all those functions working in the mirror for you. We still haven't been able to do the electric fold, but that's something we're working on at the moment. Now, what we're going to do is show you how to take your trim off and fit your new mirrors, and um, we might as well get on with it. Okay, we need some tools of the trade. So this is what you're going to need. Okay, you're going to need a fairly large screwdriver because you need that to get a bit of leverage on the door panel. You're going to need a Phillips head. This is number two Phillips head. You can usually get by if you've, if you've got another one. You need a tiny little small flat screwdriver. A seven, an eight, and a 10 mil socket. Now, the seven and the eight come off the door. When we put them back on, we put, we put bigger bolts than that into the mirror heads because the mirror's obviously a lot heavier than the original. So we're gonna take eight mil off the actual mirror mounts and we replace them with our mirrors with 10 mil bolts. They're actually a six mil stud, but with a 10 mil head. So you're going to need the 10 mil to screw the, the head back, uh, the mirror back onto the door. Okay, so if you want to come around here, and I'll show you where we start. You need the little one to start with, and then you're going to need that. <coughs> Down here in the door panel, you can see there's like a little um, removable panel there. And if you put the little screwdriver in there, you can flick it up like that and then you've got a little uh, 7 mil bolt there and in behind the, the door handle that just pops out and you've got a Phillips head screw in here okay so we're going to take that out And we'll put that down in there and we'll grab the seven mil for here. Now this door panel's been off quite a number of times when we've been doing the development on this mirror so it's probably going to come off a little bit easier for the video than what yours will when you start to do yours.
So now we need the big bertha. And we're gonna go up underneath the door panel from the bottom. Sometimes you'll need your little one just to get underneath that, that bit of a lip there so you can actually get a bit of a purchase in here with the big screwdriver. You can hear it cracking. Okay, from this point, that just pretty much comes off and you can see if you hang on to the door panel, uh, the door handle, that'll come out. Now, it'd be really good if you've got a hook that you can put that under. So what I'd like to say at this point is to go and do what I just showed you. And when you come back, we're going to do the mirror. Okay, <clears throat> now that you've got all that off, it's really good. If you can just find a little hook like that, you can pick one up from Bunnings or, you know, Mitre 10 or somewhere like that. And just hook your door panel on it. What it does is it, it, it stops everything that's attached to your door panel from hanging and pulling out. Okay, now we've got two wires. In this particular model, we've got two wires and two connectors that go into your mirror. And they plug directly into the computer down here. So you've got to get your finger underneath the bottom of the white one and pull it out. And it's got like a little tag there that holds it in. And do the same with the black one. Finger in underneath and done. Now, you don't need to touch this. This is for your speaker and everything in there and this trim here is all one and it runs right up around the door right and and it's only a plastic trim it just pushes over and sits in place so what you need to do is you need to get this plastic plug that's in here you got to pop that out okay <clears throat> Remember where your wiring is here, and when you're putting it back, make sure you don't get it caught under there because it won't go back together properly. And you can take this plastic plug out, just pushes in. We'll put it down there for safekeeping. And <clears throat> this panel will come off. Now, if you try to take too much of it off, the whole thing will come off, and it's a, and it's a little bit of a pain. So what I'm gonna do here, this is where you need the 8mm socket and I've got a bit of an extension on it so that I don't knock this plastic about. But I'm going to buzz these two off. Okay. And this one, you just got to be careful with that trim. Take that off. All right. And then hold the mirror on the other side. And it's really handy if you can get somebody to hold that trim for you so that it doesn't come off completely. And then you can take the mirror and then just feed the wire and back out through the hole. All right, and of course it's always gonna get trapped up in that plastic panel. Okay, now you've got that off. There's your mirror. You can see you've got two plugs on it. This one has got memory and everything in the mirror itself, but it doesn't have blind spot. It does have an indicator and it also has heating and all the Jeep mirrors have heating as standard. So we're going to supply our mirrors with heating as standard and, and power in the actuator. And if, it, if you need an indicator, you need to let us know. And if you've got a Jeep Limited and you've got the memory in there, we can add the memory to it as well for you. There's no point taking a mirror and thinking that you're going to plug it in and that your memory's going to work. It needs a computer and it needs... It's got something to do with the brain in the car, right? On the top end models, they have the blind spot monitoring light in here. It's the same deal. If you have it, you can have it. If you don't have it, there's no point getting it unless you know somebody at Jeep that can tell you how to hardwire it. And, uh, I don't think they're going to be too helpful with that. So, anyway, now you've got the mirror off, go and do it. Okay, 
Now we've got our mirror, our clear view mirror, and we've got all our wiring and everything. I've fed it, fed it through here. This one's only got one plug in it, okay, and um, we haven't got all the options here at the moment, but we will have this week. Make sure that you get your mirror bolts through and you'll find that the bolt holes are, are actually bigger than the originals considerably and we've got uh, six mil studs and we're using a 10 mil head on these and uh, it gives them a lot of support so check your rubber on the outside make sure it's all seating in position properly and it looks pretty good um, Okay, all that rubber's pretty good around there and that'll seal. So now, because we've only got one plug, we're going to plug it back into the computer down here. Right? And it goes back into where the other black plug came out of. Now, once you've got that there, like I said to you before, make sure that you run your wiring back through here and make sure that you don't get it caught up behind there, otherwise it won't sit properly. So, <clears throat> we're gonna put this back on. Make sure you get that over there and it's all seating properly. All right, and then push that into place there and then push that little black plastic plug back through into that hole and that'll hold everything in place for you. Now, we've got an extra wire here, it's for the heater and it's because we haven't hooked the heater up in this mirror for the, the DVD, so I'm not gonna worry too much about that at this point. <clears throat> okay, now what you should have is a mirror that will fold outwards. <clears throat> and hopefully our electric should work, which they do. And somewhere around here we should have an indicator. We've got an indicator. Okay. All right, beautiful. Our indicator works. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put our door panel back on and uh, I'll turn this off and it stops squeaking at me and uh, we'll fit, fit the door panel back. Okay, get rid of your hook. Open your door handle, feed it through the door handle hole. Make sure that you get your... Um, get your door lock through here like that and then make sure it's lined up correctly and just push it back into place there you go Pretty simple.
put this one back down in there. Remember that these screws just go into plastic, so you don't need to reef on them. And our Phillips head screw is back in here. Now, if you have a look down in here, you'll see a nut as well in the door panel there, right? Don't touch that. You only need to take that Phillips head screw out. That all holds the, the locking mechanism and everything to the door, so it stays there when you take the door panel off. Uh, once you've got that in place there, then put your door latch cover back on and you'll hear it click into place. Just try your door handle a couple of times. If it doesn't come out, it should be good. And there you have it. So go do, enjoy, and if you've got any questions, by all means, give us a call.